Hi, my name is Fiji McAlpine. This short practice is intended to warm your hamstrings up and loosen them to keep them happy and healthy. To get deep into the connective tissue of our hamstrings, we need to warm them up first. So let's begin at the front of our mat, standing in mountain pose. Bring your feet about hips distance apart. Take your shoulders onto your back and down away from your ears. And as you inhale, reach your hands straight up about shoulder distance apart, palms facing one another. Draw the shoulders onto your back, plug firmly down into your heels, lift and flare your toes. Take a nice long inhale. And as you exhale, bend your knees and let your fingertips actually brush the floor. Take your arms out in front of you now and then sweep your arms out to the side to open the chest. Drop a bit more into the legs. Feel a little warmth developing in the seat of the heels. As you sink down into your deep roots, you can feel the weight of the hips pulling back and even draw the tailbone under to lengthen the lower lumbar spine. Now from here, as you inhale, reach forward again. Exhale, sink a bit deeper. With your next inhale, we're going to come all the way up. Let your palms touch. Exhale, bend the elbows to the back of your heart with your thumbs. Inhale, reach up. Front of the heart with the thumbs. And then dive down. Soften your knees as much as you need to, especially if your hamstrings are really tight right now. Let your head hang down. Sink down with your belly onto the quadriceps, chest on your kneecaps. Relax your arms so that they're just hanging and the shoulders can puddle up near your ears. Slow your breath. Sink lower with your hips. And then with your next inhale, come halfway up, rising onto your fingertips. Work the legs as straight as they can be, and then bend your right knee deeply. Work the left leg as straight as you can. Breathe. And then walk your hands all the way around to the right side of your mat, back behind your right heel. Push your right heel and your left heel firmly down in their positions. Come back to center and soften both knees. Inhale to come halfway up. Now deepen the bend in your left knee and straighten your right leg. Walk your hands as far as you can over behind your left heel. Again, try and maintain the position of your feet. Come back to center, soften both knees. Inhale now, come halfway up with only your fingers staying on the floor and your chest moving far away from your thighs. As you exhale, step your left leg back and find a high lunge position, tick-tocking the heel. Bring the left kneecap down to the floor and point the ten toes straight back. Now from here, pushing into your front right foot, inhale, float your arms up. As you exhale, use some control from the inner thighs to sink down and in, feeling the back of your right leg and the front of your left respond to this movement. Take a nice long inhale. Exhale to drop the hands down beside the hips. Inhale, reach your hands up and now back. Exhale again to drop. Inhale to reach up. Now this time as you exhale, reach the hands forward. Take the chest forward and swing your arms down and behind you. Interlace your hands, join your palms together, invite the shoulders onto the back. Hook your back toes under. Animate the back leg so your kneecap floats. Push firmly forward into your right heel. On the inhaling breath, take the chest up. On the exhaling breath, sink down. Inhale, try and take your chest a bit further back. Exhale again into that front right leg, just pulsing some warmth, heat and strength. Now from here, we'll take both shoulders inside your right knee. Stacking your wrists above the back of the shoulders, try and go fairly vertical in your arm bones. Now that we're nice and low, you can drop your left heel to the mat, pivoting the left toes to the side. This should feel to you like warrior two legs. Getting deeper into that front right hamstring, inhale, pull back up. Exhale to release the hands. Inhale to spread your arms out to the side, finding warrior two. Truly warming that right inner thigh. On your next inhale, straighten the right leg. Exhale again to bend the knee. One more time, inhale, and exhale. Now reach the right hand as far forward as you can. Place the right fingertips just outside of your right foot and stack your left hand up above. Wrist, shoulder, shoulder, wrist. Move your hips as far down as you possibly can and don't lose the connection with your outer left foot and the floor. Try and sink the hips even lower. 
One more inhale. As you exhale, slowly bring that left hand down. Lift your left heel up. Drop your chest inside your right knee and flatten your hands to the floor. On your next inhale, take your right leg to the sky. As you stretch the right leg back and up, lift the heel but drop the hip. Now bring your right foot next to your left foot. On an inhale, come forward to high plank. And then send the energy through to the upper body, chaturanga. Upward facing dog. Back to downward facing dog. As you inhale, take your right leg back up. And as you exhale, step your right foot through again. Step the left foot now to join the right foot. Halfway lift, inhale. Active forward fold, exhale. As you inhale, sit down into that chair of Utkatasana again. And then as you exhale, fold the body forward. Halfway lift, inhale. Step your right leg back, exhale. Find the high lunge first, then drop the back knee to the floor, pointing the toes back. Inhale, float your arms up. As you exhale, sink down and in. Take those shoulders again onto the back. Inhale, move your chest further back. Exhale to sink down into that left hip. One more cycle of breath in. Now as you exhale, lower the hands. Inhale to float. Exhale to sink. Inhale again, float. This time as you exhale, reach forward. Swing the hands back behind you, interlace the hands. Pull the knuckles back, taking the chest up. Hook your back toes under if they're not already hooked. And then slowly push down into that back foot, elevate the hips. Feel your heart lift, inhale here. As you exhale, take the chest inside your left leg. Try and go vertical with your arm bones, gazing at your left big toe. Feeling the legs getting nice and warm. Now keeping yourself low, drop the right heel to the floor, pivoting the right toes out to the side. Feel the security of your feet on the floor as you inhale and draw the torso up. And as you exhale, you're gonna release the hands down beside the hips. Inhale now, open up to warrior two. Exhale to sink down and in. Do that a few times more, inhale. And exhale. Using your breath to warm your way into the pose, inhale and exhale. Now as you inhale, the left hand reaches forward. Outer edge of your left foot, fingertips on the floor, right hand to the sky. Try and sink down into the hips without losing the connection with the outer edge of your right foot in your mat. Slow, steady, even breathing. One more inhale like this. And as you exhale, you're gonna bring the right hand down slowly, lift your right heel up. Make sure the torso is coming down inside your left knee, flat palms, left leg to sky, inhale. As you exhale, lower that left foot down next to the right. Inhale to your high plank and vinyasa through again. Chaturanga, upward facing dog, back into downward facing dog. From here, the heels rise, look to your hands, lift your left leg and step it through. Right foot follows, halfway lift, active fold. With your next inhale, sit down into chair one last time. And then as you exhale, move into the forward fold. Now bend your knees enough that you can take the index and middle finger and loop them around your big toes. Come halfway up, straightening the legs to the best of your ability at this point. Then as you inhale, draw the chin in towards your throat. Exhale, bend your elbows to the sides and draw the torso down towards the knees. Take your gaze back between your legs and push your elbows forward. Heels push down, sit bones reach up and spread apart. With your next inhale, you're coming halfway up. Exhale to release the grip and soften the knees. Inhale, step into your high plank. Exhale to chaturanga. Back to high plank, inhale. And downward facing dog, exhale. Lift your heels high as you inhale. 
Bend your knees and bring your belly towards your thighs. Try and tilt the tailbone, the sit bones more skyward. Push into your hands, lower the chest, even lower the forehead to the floor. Now work just your left leg straight, keeping the generous bend in your right knee. Lift the left heel, bend the left knee, work your right leg straight, keeping the left knee against your chest. Lift the right heel, push both heels back and down. Then as you inhale, right leg lifts to sky, externally rotating the hip, lifting the right hip to stack, even looking under your right arm. Now square the hips off again, step your right foot forward. As you do this, drag your left foot in about six inches so you have a closer stance with your feet. And make sure that your feet are staggered. There's not one behind the other, not walking a tightrope unnecessarily. Soften your right knee at first and draw yourself away from your leg. Try and square your hips off. Even reach your arms forward, working the pressure between your heels until they feel even. And then as you exhale, let the hands come down slowly. As they do, bring the hands to either side of your right foot, scoop the right hip in towards the center line of the mat, push your right heel forward and your left heel backward. Tuck the chin in towards your throat, and as your body and right hamstring allows, you can release some of that support from your arms and begin to absorb some of the weight of your torso and your right leg. Use your arms as much as you need to. Make sure that you're breathing, knowing that as we have a steady breath, it will calm the mind and the body so that we can let go of some of this tension. Now from here, as you inhale, again lift halfway up. As you exhale, bend your left knee and bring it down to the ground. Keep your back toes hooked under. Walk your hands back and sit down on your left heel. Flex your right foot, pulling the toenails back. Inhale to lengthen. Exhale, crawl the fingers forward, drawing your torso out over your right leg. Go again only as low as you can, only as low as you need to go. When you feel that sweet discomfort, that's exactly where you pause, and that's what you're trying to breathe into. Now from here, soften the right knee and come forward. Work that back knee off the floor. Again, finding your pyramid pose, halfway lift, inhale. As you exhale, again, sink in. Now from here, the hands will go flat. Drag your right foot along the mat and sweep it up towards the sky, inhale. Point the toes, bend your right knee and tap your left shoulder blade with your right foot. Keep reaching like you expect to actually feel it. You're probably almost there, maybe just an inch away. Stretch your right leg straight back, inhale. And as you exhale, lower the right foot. Come forward to high plank, inhale. Exhale to chaturanga. High plank again. And downward facing dog. With your next inhale, lift your left leg to the sky. Begin to roll open the left hip, turning the toes to the left, even taking your gaze to the left. Square the hips off again. Step your left foot towards your left hand. Drag your right foot a few inches closer. And again, make sure that you've got a bit of distance between the feet, wider type tabletop surface. And then from here, on the inhale, come up onto your fingertips. And as you exhale, slowly lower the torso down. Again, listening to your body and the signals that the body is delivering to the mind via sensation. Those are there for tools, tools for you to learn from and listen to. You can pulse up and down a few times if necessary, trying to scoop the left hip in, right hip forward. Exhale, softening the elbows, just transferring the weight into the legs. Try and reach forward with the heart, with your head and your belly, not just bringing your forehead towards your knee. And then on your next inhale, come halfway up. Bend your right knee and bring it down to ground. Keep the toes hooked under, walk your hands back and sit down on your right heel. Left leg is as straight as it can be. Inhale, crawl the fingers forward. And exhale, hinging on your hip, try and lay the torso down here, just going deeper. 
Slow, steady cycles of breath, unclenching your jaw or anywhere in your body where you feel like you're gripping unnecessarily. And then slowly bend the left knee and come forward. Again, pick the back right knee up off the floor, returning to your pyramid pose. Halfway lift, inhale. Noticing if any of that tension or discomfort has eased in any way as you dip back into pyramid pose. Set your palms flat and then drag the left foot back and sweep it up towards the sky. Point the toes, bend the knee and try and tap or scratch your right shoulder blade with your left foot. Make sure the standing leg is straight. That's where the hamstring is really feeling the opening. Work the left leg straight again. Lower the left foot down. Inhale to your high plank. Exhale to chaturanga. Inhale to high plank. Exhale, knees to ground. Now from here, cross your ankles. Walk yourself back into a seated pose. Extend your left leg towards the front of the mat. Take your right foot and pull the right foot into the base of the thigh. Now sit nice and tall. Flex your left foot. If your knee is bent and quite high, you can even slip a blanket underneath for a bit of support to feel some pressure or grounding, some relief. As your leg is as straight as it can be here, remembering that we're looking for little pockets of release, those millimeter miracles. You're going to sit tall first. Take your left hand to your right knee, your right hand behind you. Sit nice and tall on the inhale, and then just get a bit of a twist going as you gaze past your right shoulder. Bring the gaze forward now. Take your left hand and bring your left hand to the inside of the foot. Take your right hand up and over your head. Try and keep the right shoulder stacked above the left. Keep pressure with your right foot against your inner thigh and groin. Try and pull the toes back. That really increases the sensation through the entire length of the leg. Inhale, come up. Exhale, right hand comes down. Left hand lifts as your hips lift. Just a little release. Lower the hips now. We're going to switch sides. From here, you'll take your right leg out nice and long. Bring the base of the thigh against the bottom of your foot. Sit nice and tall. Right hand onto your left knee. Left hand behind you. Sit nice and tall as you inhale. And then take your gaze past your shoulder as you exhale. Bring the gaze back around to your right foot. Sweep your right hand, palm up, towards the inner arch. Take your left arm up and over. Try and keep the right leg as straight as it can be. Left shoulder above the right shoulder, breathing. Inhale to come up. Left hand to the mat, hips and right hand to the sky. And slowly come back down with the hips. From here, you can extend your legs nice and long. Sit tall, shoulders on your back. Inhale to reach up. As you exhale, legs are strongly engaged, toes curling back. Reach forward and pause where that resistance begins. Then if you can stay there with a lifted chest, your heart charging forward, toes pulling back, you'll breathe increased space, mobility, and freedom in those tight hamstrings. Not being so greedy to get the head or chest down, but simply finding yourself, meeting yourself where you are and having compassion for the body. As you exhale, tuck the chin in. As you inhale, reach up through the back of your neck. As you exhale, flex the feet more, engage the quadriceps. And then just go soft, soft everywhere and feel the weight of your body sinking down. Take another long inhale and exhale. Now roll the spine up slowly. From here we'll bend the knees to scoot the hips forward. Lay the torso flat down on your back. Relax your toes and even let the toes fall out and open to the sides. 
slow, steady, even breathing. As much as possible, allowing these sensations to sit in the body, to reflect on them and to truly savor them so that they're imprinted into that body muscle memory. Then wiggle your toes, flex your feet, leading with your heels. Feel that energy circulating up and down the legs. Draw your knees one at a time in towards your chest. Hold your knees tight and rock yourself straight up to a seated pose. Maybe your knees will fall a bit closer to the floor, a little less restriction somewhere down in the legs. Shoulders on your back. Just enjoying the sensation. Hands come into your heart. Thanking yourself for taking this time to take care of your body. Namaste.